all right feeling better and gotta get these videos out before uh servants go away that's why merlin is uh priority today uh because uh when he goes on raid up it's very rare and it's for a very short time case in point lucky bag 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 this uh summoning for merlin is literally the first time he's been on actual raid up uh since uh the vegas rerun so if you don't have merlin on jp he's and you have buster servants or a koi and skaya this is not a must summon because you can always get a friend merlin but it'd be a good pickup i will say getting koi and skaya over merlin in the current meta is preferable because friend merlin like they're already leveled up um yeah so ignoring that let's talk about the incubus the cambian troll or just a the dick wizard yeah i see this and i think yeah this guy gives people dicks for no reason all right so star gen mp charge these are uh fine this is really good considering you want to be arts chaining as much as possible so having a high mp charge is good but not needed because of how his mp works five hits on the buster card is interesting uh and then six hits on the extra attack so technically you could do some scuff skaha tactics with merlin if you need to do an extra attack it, or if you're going for an extra attack arts buster arts and you would gen an okay amount of mp but that's not what you should be doing you shouldn't be hitting getting an extra attack with merlin you should just be spamming arts cards um yep so next for our first skill increases party attack uh 20 and then charges mp gauge by 20 percent so the new mistake but you don't level the skill to increase this it's 20 by default i made that mistake mistake when i first got merlin because i wasn't looking at the wiki at the time you're only leveling it to bring this cooldown down so this is technically your last priority skill to level up this should be the last thing you're worrying about Next, we have his party-wide invincibility. He gives everyone better star gen, and it reduces enemy critical chance. So this is kind of tangent, but there's a reason why like Arjuna Alter doesn't have a built-in buster buff or built-in crit damage. And it's because, or a way to debuff enemies himself. It's because he was built to be used with two Merlins. Merlin literally gives Arjuna Alter everything he could want to do big damage. Now, Koi and Skaya can do that too and give even more damage, but Koi and Skaya doesn't give survivability. And she also doesn't debuff enemies to proc Arjuna Alter's uh, damage mod. Merlin can do that. Is he as effective as Koi and Skaya? No, but remember, 20% battery, Arjuna Ultra has a 30. So pop Arjuna's second skill, pop Merlin's first, and boom, you have MP. Um, with, and then if you need it, pop this for the damage mod, just to get the ball rolling, because Arjuna Ultra can give a da um, he can apply his own debuff. Now we come to his third skill, and this is priority number one for people to level, 100%, because it is a the Buster uh, buff for three turns, increases magic HP, so pseudo heal, but not really, and then 100% crit damage for one turn. 
Uh, this is just like, if you can get it off, cool. But you're mainly popping it for this. Because targetable mana burst is uh, not common at all. If you can do big busty crit damage on this turn, maybe after popping two coin skies and swapping it uh, in a Merlin, do it. You will, <laughs> you will see big chungus numbers. Um, so passive skills we have art, uh, territory creation, so arts performance, uh, debuff success rate, or this skill make this proc a little bit more common, and then mixed blood, which gives them five percent MP every turn. This works with all the other stuff Merlin does with it, his MP, which also gives the entire party 5% every turn. But you're going to pop, be popping two of them, so it's actually 15% for, for both Merlins. Really nice. 2k heal with both Merlins. And then if you're using the, if you're uh, doing the MP together, you get between, okay, so like depending on how you MP chain, like you do like all three of your units do uh, an MP, make sure that the damaging MP goes first. And then you proc Merlin, Merlin number one, Merlin number two. You're getting 25 crit stars every single turn. If you, if you do the Merlins by themselves, like you don't do them in a chain, you're only going to be doing five stars. So if you, when you pop Merlin's MP, try to chain both of them or all three of your uh, units, try to chain all your MPs at the same time. Otherwise you don't get as much back as you could with um, this overcharge. Unless you use an, uh, a CE to give you overcharge, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, or have a unit that can do it, like Morgan or Buffed Reigns. Like, I feel like Buffed Reigns is just like stall tactics. Well, no. No, no, no. Like, the actual stall stall team is Merlin, uh, Morgan, and Castoria. That's the actual stall team that you're just gonna never, you're never going to die unless people remove all your buffs. Uh, and that's actually a team I'm going to be waiting for in a year and a half or a year and some change when uh, Avalon actually comes out. All right. Uh, we come to a CE, which is fairly good. I don't use it as often I, as I should because uh, I'm mostly using like a 2030 to gen stars for me. Uh, but, you know free buster and crit damage these are the equivalent to skill like a skill and as long as he's just on the field like this is good for the super orion he's good for super orion so should you summon for him he comes around so infrequently like this is what his fourth raid up and he's been out since Babylon. And whenever he's on raid up, it's always for like two days. I think if you don't have him on JP, you should be fine. Like a lot of people have Merlin. The game has kind of evolved past using double Merlin. Uh, so I don't want to say like don't summon for him because of that, but I wouldn't spend all your money or saying words on Merlin right now, especially because Scotty might be getting up, getting a raid up soon. Castoria might be going on raid up. Morgan might be going on raid up. Melusine might be going on raid up. Arjuna Alter might be going on raid up with a buff. Uh. It Super Orion might be going on right up with a buff. Theo Scurry might be getting a buff. Like so many servants because of uh, 
this campaign here, possibly are getting buffs. And if they didn't buff Merlin, like now, that he's probably not going to get a buff. So, buyers, uh, just know what you're getting into for some of these units. So you might not get other units that you want. Alright, we'll get out of here. Peace.